Hey guys and welcome to this updated build guide here on YouTube. It's my Bountiful Interruption build with some minor changes and that's how it is now. I'm still using Hulberg runes and I went with Sword Sword. Um, some people have s told me that like that focus is a lot better for massive interrupts but I think first of all the cooldowns are pretty high because you don't have the cooldown re re reduction like you ha with you, like you have with sword sorry and uh, so it's just 12 seconds which is nice and also the phantasm does so much damage is that it, if it crits is deals the most damage uh the highest damage sorry of all phantasms in the game so yes i would definitely go with sword then i went with great sword because it harmonizes a lot better with blink than staff. Also, you have um, a better interrupt. You can rely more on it because um, if you time it right, it can really interrupt people and you interrupt something you want to interrupt. Because with staff, you have a chance to interrupt, but it's not 100% sure. Also, the Phantasm does a lot of damage. You can like one shot or almost one shot the thief if you have enough might stacks. Then you have another boon remove, which is nice if the enemy has stability. And then here you have another might stack and vulnerability stacks. So actually three might stacks and actually six might stacks if it bounces twice to you. So I think great sword is overall better than stuff. Let's move on with traits. Wait, um, yeah, amulet is still the same actually. So we have interrupt damage. And great sword um, cooldown reduce, which is pretty nice. We so can interrupt much more often. Then we have the cooldown reduce on sword. So like because you don't have illusion illusionist celerity, you have both cooldown reduction on great sword and sword sword with these two traits, which is awesome. Then you have deceptive evasion for so you can shatter um, distortion or diversion or mind track you are most likely not to shatter um, craft frustration because it's just not good for your build because you would waste clones then you, we have master of manipulation because we have blink and arcane fevery which is really really nice and of course bountiful interruption and chaotic interruption well um, some people have told me that chaotic interruption sucks because sometimes you get demobilized on the target and, and the cripple which is useless, but um, sometimes you're lucky and you have 20% condition duration and you get the blind, for example, and immobilize, which is like the same as a stun. Also, if you have the chill, the chill lasts a little bit longer, as far as I have tested it, and then it's like he is immobilized and then he's chilled a little bit so like he can't move which is awesome against warriors and against class that have have to get close to the target um also b why i picked this one is because you just need toughness and you need the boon duration it's 10 percent boon duration that's that's so awesome it's like taking um i guess this signet here it's the passive effect is 10% boon duration and you ch you just get it with this that's just so awesome and you will see chaotic interruption is worth taking it because sometimes you interrupt somebody or knock, some knock somebody down with illusionary wave out of the point and then he gets immobilized and then you have two choices uh, first of all you could just wait and decap the point while he's immobilized and maybe then he is even chilled or or you just when he's immobilized, you can use this immobilize to immobilize him again and to bring your burst on the target with a hundred percent. So that's I think that's awesome. But maybe it's personal choice. You can also use um I guess either this one for another stun break or this one so that clones rep apply random conditions, but I think I think it's not worth it. I think chaotic interruption is just the best thing you could take. And I would definitely go 30 here because you need the boon duration on 
on your might stacks, because otherwise it's not worth spreading them to your team. So I'm using, I think, the same utilities and the same ultimate. So that would be everything, I guess. And if you have any questions or about the build or something like that, I will post the forum link down in the description. Also, I will post the build link again down in the description. So make sure to subscribe and like the video. And goodbye, guys. Ciao, ciao. So please don't wake me up. Please don't wake me from this nightmare.